to a casual fan or a toy collector or maybe somebody just looking at this video and has no they have no idea about transformers they may just see a bunch of plastic here a few figures various different colors all just uh chilling uh but in reality what we actually have here are three different combiner teams complete and uh awesome each of them individually just a great figure but combined uh they're much more Greater than the sum of their parts, truly. Uh, we have the Protector Bots, Protector Bots, sorry, Stunticons, and the Aerial Bots. Uh, I'm still going to say that the Aerial Bots are probably my favorite team uh, when it comes to G1 combiners. I've always kind of, I guess I've always thought it was really cool that the, oh, that, um, you know, the Autobots, they don't typically have a lot of planes and stuff in their roster or, or flyers for that matter. So a team of uh, specialist Autobots that all combine into one awesome combiner, they, they were just generally cooler. Uh, I never had any of the G1 combiners as a kid. I had a couple pieces of them here and there, but never a complete figure. Uh, the way, This Combiner Wars series that we've been having for 2015 is just, it's addicting, it's awesome it, and they're really 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 nailing it uh but that's just combiner wars in general uh i really actually wanted to talk today about uh the latest addition to the to teams hot spot leader of the protect bots uh i'm gonna clear off this desk and uh, get a better uh, better look at this guy individually but I really kind of just wanted to show off the, the full set of uh, combiner teams that we have so far. Uh, let's take a look at Hotspot. Alright, real quick, let's talk about the highlights of uh, Hotspot here. You can see he's got this really cool Autobot symbol fire rescue decal on the side. Both sides of the vehicle. And he looks like a great fire truck. Very modern looking. I forget the actual name of the company that does fire trucks that look like this or, you know, it's not a very common look. I think they're usually for airports, but all rambling aside, I'm sure you could Google it to figure it out. I wanted, uh, just for comparison's sakes, another Transformer with this type of iconic fire truck look is uh, Dark of the Moon's Sentinel Prime. This is a leader class figure, which is why it's so much bigger, uh, but or bigger, bigger. Looks good. Uh, if you're a fire truck fan, you gotta pick both these guys up. But let's talk about Hotspot. He has this uh, ladder assembly that you know has a full rotational ability. Really cool uh, nozzle detail, water tank, and then inside there, I don't know if you can see, is like the bucket for the firefighter has a, uh, you know, uh, just actually some extra molded detail in there, make it really pop. His um hands kind of show as a part of the rear bumper but nobody's really going to pay attention to that and uh you know just because you know i've seen a lot of pictures of people talking about it it's kind of uh, fun to see that his robot head is just kind of chilling in the middle there you can kind of see it let's uh let's transform this guy oh actually real quick uh, let's talk about his weapons he comes with two two blasters, kind of mirror blasters, rifles, whatever you want to call them. They look like they may have an ability to kind of shoot liquid or something because they've got this uh, kind of tube and like this handle that you would see on like a fire hose or something. Does it shoot water? Does it shoot lasers? Well, I don't know. Whatever you want it to shoot. You can store it all over on the vehicle mode. You can either go full on uh, offense and have both of them peg into the top of the or the sides of the the bucket here, and because it's got multiple pegs, you can either you know you can tighten them up a little bit more too. Have them really really cool. There you go. Got a got a turret for them, or uh, you can even go into just the sides. Of the vehicle or the side of the, the ladder so really if you had a bunch of weapons lying around you can just 
plug in a bunch of this guy and he'd have, you have a really heavily armed fire truck. Let's stop talking about his, uh, his wheels and let's get him into robot mode. All right, to start off a quick look at robot mode, uh, I just want to show him off with the rest of the protector bots uh, all in their robot mode, looking, looking really cool as, a, as actually a whole team, a uh, nice theme. You, you can see the only real one that has like a different color palette uh, is definitely Hotspot. He's got this cool light blue, almost teal color. Uh, he does definitely stand out uh, from his, his, uh, his team members. They're all, you know, blue, white, and red. Uh, he, um, he pops. It, it's not clashy. I mean, they, they all look like they can be part of the same squad, uh, which they clearly are. But, you know, he, uh, he actually has probably the most striking color scheme. Let's get these guys out of the way real quick. First thing I, I want to talk about is his head sculpt. Everybody always thinks about Optimus Prime when you mention Transformers. And uh, he has one of those Optimus Prime looks with the antenna on the sides, uh, you know, in his uh, faceplate. The only difference here is that while Optimus Prime has the, you know, friendly blue eyes and, you know, his iconic look, you take a look at a hotspot, and even though he's an Autobot, he's got that, you know, aggressive red eye uh, coloration and you know an emotionless faceplate if you didn't see the Autobot symbol right under his chin there you would swear this guy's a Decepticon but that's yeah, alright he looks aggressive he looks cool looks like you know he's not gonna mess around he one of the highlights for the figure also is are the weapon storage that are a big part of his Backpack. People hate backpacks on Transformers, but I've just grown to accept them, and I like them. Uh, it's a, his ladder all folded up really nicely back here. His weapons kind of attach to the side of the ladder. So when he's just standing unarmed, you can, they kind of provide that extra silhouette up here. And, you know, you can easily uh, unplug him and equip him. And at that point, you know he's... Ready for business, going to put out some fires, uh, fire some of the Decepticons or something. I mean, just, yeah. You can get all sorts of sweet uh, dual wielding poses out of the guy, which I'm not going to attempt to do on camera, but, you know, there are pictures out there on my Instagram if you really want to look at it. Uh, you can definitely move the backpack out of, out of the way to increase posability, you know, give him some knee poses and, you know, various other, you know, looks. It's not a hindrance at all. Other uh, other details are the, okay. So the other details I want to talk about are the details in the figure. Imagine that. Look at this really detailed uh, sculpting on the chest plate here. Provides nice shadows. The silver paint underneath the red paint. It, they kind of do it on the shoulders and on the on the outside of the leg as well, but it really pops on the chest detail here. It just it looks so good, really really detailed. He's got these uh, kind of like uh, shocks uh, in his arms and down here on his feet. And he has, you know, his light bar are his kneecaps. Overall, awesome details for a grade A robot mode. You could purchase Hotspot and only purchase Hotspot from the Combiner Wars and still feel like you walked away with an awesome figure. It's great that he turns into defense into Defensor and, you know, has the full Combiner functionality. But if you just were, you know, itching to pick, pick up a cool fire truck Transformer, his robot mode is enough. Let's take a look at him uh, combined with his uh, teammates. Alright, the only thing I really wanted to show off on the torso mode transformation, you notice how he kind of just tucks himself up here in robot mode, uh, is, is all the fun stuff that happens with his ladder combination back here. Uh, you know, it's a good backpack, but it's one of the, the coolest things about him as a combiner spreading it open like that and then doing this awesome rotation 
and pull down, you're creating the front chest portion of the recombiner. Cool, uh, cool armor. Then you're gonna this this really uh, really fun thing with the ladder where you you're gonna swing it all the way down, and you're going to wrap it around the crotch area here. Sling it back up around the back, so it's all nice and wrapped around, creating a, a quite a bit of bulk on him. And then uh, you know the the bucket just kind of falls down, spreads apart. The head flips up, and then you twist around, and you've got a Defensor's Noggin. I mean, that's that's a cool torso. All on his own. There you have it. Defensor. Combined form of the Protectobots. Uh, this is not his uh, official configuration. Uh, you know, you'll see most people trying to combine uh, these guys into a specific pattern, uh, you know, reminiscent to G1's original Defensor. And to me, that's just not very exciting. I think you can find fun ways to bring these guys together as a as a unique, uh, you know, what... That's the great thing about these Combiner Wars figures is that, you know, it's however you want to display them, however you want to... however you want to actually show them off. Uh, here... Uh, you can see that he creates a very bulky looking combiner. Uh, he's a little shorter than um, Menasaur and Superion. I didn't bother combining those guys for comparison. But, you know, he he just looks great. Powerful. Heroic. He's, he does, instead of having hot spots, red Decepticon eyes, he has uh, his blue ones. Um, they don't really show up all that well right now in this light. But, uh, yeah, he's very, very heroic looking. You can see what I was talking about as far as the colors go. You know, the majority of it's red, blue, and white. His, since there's so much black uh, in his combined torso mode, he doesn't really clash with the rest of his team. Looks really, really good. You can see on the front I have uh, Groove, the motorcycle. Providing the chest armor, and I put first aid's axe on his uh, chest to you know, kind of like you know, backup melee weapon that you lose your gun or something like that, and then there you go. Hot spots two rifles combined into one rifle. It's kind of a weak, a weak combined weapon, but it serves its purpose. You've got enough ports to kind of give him you know a little bit more weaponry. Rook's uh, Jaws of Life. Uh, here's Streetwise's, you know, shotgun. Just look at this guy. Way cool. Uh, I do have the Combiner Wars upgrade set from Perfect Effect. You can take a look at that video. Uh, you know, I'll link to it in the description so that if you want to take a look at these cool hands and uh, the feet. Uh, my thoughts on those. All in all, Defense War is awesome. Not my favorite of Combiner Wars overall combined uh, look. I think that still goes to Superion. <laughs> but he is great. Final thoughts on Defense War and Hotspot. Hotspot is definitely one of the best uh, figures in Combiner Wars. Uh, you know, he is the main Voyager in Wave 3, the new mold, the uh, new hotness, and he really delivers. His vehicle mode's great, his robot mode is amazing, and, uh, you know, his torso and defense war as a whole, great. He, like I was saying, not my favorite uh, group, the Protectobots, but when you got a, a cool team of, you know, emergency vehicles and police vehicles, that all combine into a big robot named Defensor, and you know, it's hard to go wrong. Pick up Defensor if you have an attachment to him as a G1 character. He's perfect. You know, even if you are some sort of purist that needs Groove to be a foot, it's all right. Um, 
or just pick up Defensor and the Protectobots if you want a sweet Autobot team. Look at these guys. They're great. Uh, I hope we get more fire trucks in the future with some original characters. Hopefully the, the hot spot mold uh, gets repainted and remolded into some other figures. Everybody I know on the internet is looking forward to it being remolded into the Decepticon, uh, oh, what's his name, Onslaught. And that will be really cool too. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys liked, uh, liked Hotspot as much as I did. We'll check you out next time.